Good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Today is January the 10th, so we're going to be in Proverbs chapter number 10. When I got in the office this morning and started to read Proverbs chapter 10, there are some incredible verses in this chapter. So I hope that you're reading the chapter with me every day, and then we can talk about some of the verses that we read together. But in Proverbs chapter number 10, one of the verses that just jumped right out at me is verse number 19. And it says this, too much talk leads to sin. Be sensible and keep your mouth shut. Man, that is some awesome advice from the wisest man who ever lived. When we talk too much, <laughs> it can lead to sin. We end up saying things we shouldn't say, talking about things we shouldn't talk about. And when we talk too much, it leads to sin. But we should be sensible and keep our mouth shut. I think I told you a couple days ago, my grandfather used to always say, it's better to keep your mouth shut and people think you're smart than to open your mouth and to prove that you're not. So we need to be people who are quick to hear and slow to speak. I heard a preacher say one time that God gave us two ears and one mouth so that we listen twice as much as we talk. While that's not necessarily a proverb, there's some good principles in there for us too, that we shouldn't always be talking and spouting off and saying everything that we think. Did you know this is a, a, a new medical development that I just read about that you, here, here it is, are you ready for it? You don't have to say everything that comes to your mind. I know that's, that's like radically crazy. I, of course we have to say everything that comes to our mind, but you really don't. Just because something pops into our head doesn't mean we have to say it. When somebody says something to us and we disagree, we don't have to speak up. You know, just because we read something on Facebook doesn't mean we have to prove everybody else wrong and prove that we're right on everything. Because when we get to heaven, we're going to find out God's going to straighten us out on a few things as well. Not to mention the fact that we don't want to be airing our dirty laundry on social media for the world to see and to be disagreeing and arguing and fighting as Christians on social media for the world to see. Just because something pops in your head, I don't have to say it. I don't have to say everything I think. In fact, I need to be very careful with my words. The Bible says that we have the power to give life and to take away life with the tongue. So we should be ones who, when we do speak, we're speaking life-giving words, not life-taking words. So as we go through today, think about what you're going to say before you say it. You don't have to answer everything. You don't have to always have an opinion about everything. Too much talk leads to sin. Be sensible and keep your mouth shut. You know, my mom used to say, if you don't have something nice to say, just don't say anything at all. There's a lot of truth in that. So as we go through today, be careful what you say. Be careful how you say it. And let's act like Christians today. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.